Did you know that mastering yourself is often the key to unlocking true happiness? In a world that bombards us with distractions and expectations, many of us chase after external markers of success, wealth, status and approval, believing they will bring fulfillment. But what if I told you that the real journey to happiness begins within? If you want to transform your life and cultivate a deeper sense of purpose, you need to embark on the path of self-mastery, justice, and present awareness. In today's video, we'll explore the powerful concepts that can guide you on this transformative journey. From mastering the art of self-reflection to embracing the present moment, we'll dive into insights that can change your perspective and enhance your everyday experiences. So, get ready to challenge the status quo uncover the truth behind fortune and virtue, and discover the immense power of living in harmony with nature. Your journey to a more fulfilling life starts now. Number one, courage in adversity. Imagine standing at the edge of a vast cliff, the wind rushing past you, and the world below you filled with both opportunity and uncertainty. This moment can fill you with exhilaration, a rush of adrenaline and a sense of possibility. Now think about those moments in your life when you faced a challenge that felt insurmountable. Remember the times you felt overwhelmed, perhaps at school, in your career, or even in personal relationships. It's easy to feel defeated when life throws curveballs. But what if I told you that this very struggle is where true courage is born? The beauty of life lies not in the absence of obstacles, but in our ability to confront them head on. As we navigate through life, we often forget that it's in these challenging moments that we discover our strength. Consider a time when you had to muster every ounce of bravery to take that leap of faith. Whether it was moving to a new city, starting a new job, or speaking up for yourself when it mattered most. Those moments can be deeply nostalgic, reminding us of who we were and how far we've come. It's a bittersweet feeling, isn't it? You may smile at the memory of your determination, but there's a tinge of sadness in remembering the fear and uncertainty you felt at that time. Now, I want you to think about how you can relate to those feelings of fear and vulnerability. Perhaps you've been in a situation where the stakes felt too high. You might have hesitated, questioning your abilities and fearing failure. But here's the thing, every great achievement begins with a courageous decision to step into the unknown. It sparks curiosity within us. What if we could harness that fear and transform it into motivation? What if we viewed adversity not as a stumbling block, but as a stepping stone to our greatest selves. Number two, finding true happiness. Let's take a moment to reflect on what true happiness really means. Picture a sunny day, surrounded by friends or family, laughter echoing in the air. It's those moments of joy that often define our idea of happiness, isn't it? But as we grow older, we begin to realize that happiness isn't just found in fleeting moments, it's woven into the fabric of our daily lives. It can be found in the quiet mornings with a cup of coffee, in the comforting embrace of a loved one, or in the satisfaction of achieving a personal goal. Yet, amid the hustle and bustle of everyday life, how often do we pause to appreciate these moments? We become so caught up in our pursuits, career advancement, social status, material possessions, that we often lose sight of what truly matters. It's a nostalgic feeling, recalling the simplicity of childhood when joy was found in the smallest things, a new toy, a day at the park, or a warm hug from a parent. How far removed are we from that joy now? This leads us to a sense of curiosity. What if we could reclaim that genuine happiness? What if we shifted our focus from external validation to internal contentment? Imagine the freedom in letting go of anxious dependence on the future and instead learning to relish the present. The true essence of happiness lies not in what we accumulate, but in how we choose to experience life. 
This realization can stir a desire within us to seek a deeper understanding of ourselves and our priorities. How can we cultivate happiness in our everyday lives? Number three, growth through challenges. Now, let's dive into the concept of growth through challenges. Have you ever faced a setback that felt like a dead end? Perhaps it was a failed exam, a job loss, or a relationship that didn't work out. Initially, it's easy to feel crushed, overwhelmed by disappointment. But over time, as you reflect on that experience, you might start to recognize it as a pivotal moment in your personal development. It's incredible how, in hindsight, those painful moments often serve as our greatest teachers. There's a profound sense of nostalgia that accompanies this realization. Remember the feelings of vulnerability, the uncertainty of what came next. It's a powerful reminder that we've all been there, navigating the stormy seas of life. And yet, it's through these trials that we find resilience. Each challenge presents an opportunity to grow, to learn, and to become stronger than we were before. How many times have you surprised yourself with your own strength? Curiosity arises when we consider how we can actively embrace challenges rather than shy away from them. What if we approached each difficulty with the mindset of a learner, eager to uncover the lessons hidden within? By reframing our perspective, we can transform our relationship with adversity. Instead of viewing it as a burden, we can see it as a catalyst for growth. Number four, mastery of self. Imagine standing before a mirror, looking deeply into your own eyes. In that reflection, you see not just your physical self, but the myriad of emotions, thoughts and desires that swirl within. The journey of mastering oneself is both profound and intimate. It begins with recognizing that true power lies not in external achievements or accolades, but in the ability to govern our thoughts, emotions and actions. There's an exhilarating sense of freedom in realizing that we are the architects of our own lives, shaping our destinies through the choices we make each day. As we navigate through our lives, it's easy to get swept away by the tide of societal expectations and pressures. We often find ourselves chasing validation from others, striving for approval in our careers, relationships and social circles. This can leave us feeling empty and disconnected, as if we are merely playing a role in someone else's script. Think back to a time when you felt overwhelmed by external pressures. Maybe it was a job that didn't resonate with you, or friendships that felt more like obligations. It's a relatable struggle, isn't it? This tension often leads to a yearning for authenticity, a desire to reconnect with our true selves. Nostalgia creeps in as we recall simpler times, perhaps from our childhood, when our identities were more fluid and less constrained by societal norms. Remember the unfiltered joy of simply being yourself without the weight of expectations. This reflection stirs curiosity about how we can reclaim that sense of authenticity in our adult lives. What if we shifted our focus from seeking validation to nurturing self-acceptance? Imagine the liberation in embracing our flaws and strengths alike, understanding that they contribute to the rich tapestry of who we are. To master oneself requires practice and commitment it involves cultivating awareness of our thoughts and emotions, recognizing when we are reactive rather than proactive. This journey invites us to explore mindfulness, being present in our experiences, acknowledging our feelings without judgment. How often do we rush through our days, distracted by devices, worries and to-do lists? By committing to self-mastery, we can transform our relationship with ourselves we become more resilient, able to navigate life's ups and downs with grace. Number five, justice and gratitude. Picture a world where justice prevails, where fairness is not just an ideal, but a lived reality. In this world, gratitude flows freely among individuals, fostering a sense of community and belonging. It's a beautiful vision, 
one that resonates deeply within us. Yet as we look around, we often find that injustice looms large, casting shadows over our interactions and experiences. This dissonance can evoke a sense of frustration and helplessness, stirring up emotions that may lead us to question our role in the larger scheme of things. Reflecting on moments of injustice, perhaps a time when you witnessed someone being treated unfairly, can ignite feelings of empathy and a desire to make a difference. It's not just about grand gestures sometimes, justice manifests in the small acts of kindness we extend to others. Think back to a time when you stood up for someone in need or offered support to a friend going through a tough time. Those moments create ripples, reminding us that we each have the power to enact change, no matter how small. Nostalgia wraps around us as we recall the times when gratitude seemed effortless. Simple moments spent with family, the warmth of friendships, or the beauty of nature. Those memories remind us of our interconnectedness and the importance of acknowledging the contributions of others in our lives. How often do we express gratitude for the everyday moments that bring us joy? This reflection opens a door to curiosity about how we can cultivate a greater sense of appreciation in our lives. What practices can we adopt to regularly express gratitude, not just for the big events, but for the little joys that often go unnoticed? Justice and gratitude are intertwined when we seek fairness. We also foster a culture of appreciation. By acknowledging the efforts and sacrifices of those around us, we contribute to a more compassionate world. Imagine a daily practice where we take a moment to express gratitude, writing a note, saying a kind word, or simply pausing to appreciate the people who enrich our lives. In doing so, we not only uplift others, but also enhance our own sense of fulfillment. Number six, fortune versus virtue. As we delve into the concept of fortune versus virtue, Consider how often we equate success with external markers, wealth, status and recognition. It's a common narrative, one that permeates our culture and shapes our aspirations. But what if we pause to reflect on the true nature of fortune? Can it be sustained without virtue? This inquiry can stir a whirlwind of emotions, initially excitement at the prospect of success, followed by a sense of disillusionment as we question the values that underpin our pursuits. Think about a time when you achieved a goal that was celebrated widely. Perhaps it was a promotion at work or an award that brought you accolades. In the moment, the recognition felt exhilarating, yet beneath the surface, did you feel a lingering sense of emptiness? This feeling of discontent is relatable. Many of us have experienced the hollowness that can accompany achievements not rooted in our core values. Nostalgia can wash over us as we reflect on our formative years when our ambitions were often fueled by idealism rather than external validation. Remember the dreams you had as a child, the excitement of creating art, helping others or exploring the world. Those dreams were driven by a sense of purpose rather than the desire for recognition. How can we reconnect with that sense of intrinsic motivation? This leads us to a deeper curiosity about the interplay between fortune and virtue. What does it mean to live a virtuous life, one that aligns with our values and principles? Imagine prioritizing integrity, kindness and authenticity over fleeting success. This shift invites us to consider how our choices impact not only our lives, but also the lives of those around us. How can we redefine success in a way that honors our true selves and contributes to the greater good? Number seven, the power of knowledge. Knowledge is often seen as a beacon of hope, guiding us through the complexities of life. It holds the power to enlighten to challenge our perspectives and to broaden our horizons. As we embark on our journey of learning, we may feel an initial rush of excitement, like standing at the precipice of discovery. 
but this excitement can quickly transform into a realization of the vastness of what we do not know, evoking feelings of humility and curiosity. Think back to a moment when you learned something that fundamentally shifted your understanding of the world. Perhaps it was a profound book, a conversation with a wise mentor, or a life experience that opened your eyes. In those moments, knowledge can evoke nostalgia as we remember the exhilaration of learning and the connections we forged with others. Those moments remind us of the importance of seeking knowledge, not just for personal gain, but for the betterment of society. Curiosity ignites as we contemplate the various forms knowledge can take. It's not just about formal education, it encompasses life experiences, emotional intelligence, and the wisdom gained from relationships. What if we committed to being lifelong learners, embracing every opportunity to expand our understanding? This curiosity can lead us to explore new interests, engage with diverse perspectives, and cultivate a deeper appreciation for the world around us. In this quest for knowledge, we also find a sense of responsibility. As we learn and grow, we are called to share our insights with others. This sharing can take many forms, mentoring, teaching, or simply engaging in meaningful conversations. Imagine a ripple effect where the knowledge you impart inspires others to seek their own truths. By harnessing the power of knowledge, we can contribute to a collective wisdom that uplifts and empowers our communities. Number eight, self-reflection and improvement. The journey of self-reflection is akin to peeling back the layers of an onion. Each layer reveals a deeper understanding of who we are and who we aspire to become. It's a process that can evoke a range of emotions from the initial discomfort of facing our flaws to the exhilarating clarity that comes with insight. When we pause to reflect, we embark on a journey of discovery, examining our beliefs, actions and motivations. Consider a time when you took a step back to evaluate your choices. Perhaps it was after a significant event in your life, a relationship ending, a career change or a personal loss. In that moment of reflection, feelings of nostalgia may wash over you as you recall the lessons learned from past experiences. It's a powerful reminder that self-reflection can lead to profound growth, allowing us to shed old patterns and embrace new possibilities. Curiosity emerges as we contemplate how self-reflection can guide our path forward. What if we set aside regular time for introspection, allowing ourselves to explore our thoughts and feelings without judgment. Imagine the insights we could uncover, areas for improvement, aspirations we've neglected, and the values that truly resonate with us. This practice can transform our relationship with ourselves, fostering self-compassion and understanding. Moreover, self-reflection is not a solitary endeavor, it can be enhanced through conversations with trusted friends or mentors. Engaging in discussions about our experiences can provide new perspectives, helping us to see ourselves in a different light. Number nine, living in harmony with nature. Imagine stepping outside into a world bathed in sunlight, surrounded by the sounds of nature, the rustling of leaves, the chirping of birds, and the gentle breeze brushing against your skin. In those moments, there's a profound sense of peace and connection that envelops us. Living in harmony with nature evokes feelings of joy and gratitude, reminding us of the beauty and wisdom that the natural world offers. As we reflect on our relationship with nature, nostalgia surfaces, bringing to mind memories of carefree days spent outdoors, climbing trees, exploring forests, or simply lying in the grass, gazing at the sky. Those moments are etched in our minds, serving as reminders of the simple joys that can often be overshadowed by the busyness of modern life. It's a longing for that connection, a desire to reconnect with the earth and all its wonders. 
Curiosity arises as we consider what it means to truly live in harmony with nature. What if we made conscious choices to prioritize sustainability and mindfulness in our daily lives? Imagine cultivating a deeper appreciation for the environment, understanding the delicate balance that sustains us. This curiosity can inspire us to explore practices such as reducing waste, supporting local ecosystems, and fostering a sense of stewardship for the planet. Moreover, living in harmony with nature invites us to embrace the rhythms of the natural world. Consider how the changing seasons affect our moods, energies and perspectives. By aligning ourselves with these cycles, we can enhance our well-being and cultivate a sense of belonging. It's an invitation to slow down, to breathe deeply and to find solace in the simplicity of the world around us. Number 10. The Importance of Present Awareness in our fast-paced lives, it's all too easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of our thoughts, anxieties and distractions. Picture yourself in a moment of stillness, where time seems to slow down and the present moment unfolds before you. This feeling of presence evokes a sense of peace, a reminder that life is happening right now, not in some distant future or in the echoes of the past. As we explore the importance of present awareness, we may initially feel a twinge of resistance. The busyness of our lives can make it challenging to embrace stillness. It may even feel uncomfortable at first. However, as we settle into this awareness, a wave of nostalgia washes over us, reminding us of moments when we were fully engaged, laughing with friends, playing with children, or enjoying a breathtaking sunset. Those memories serve as a testament to the beauty of being present. Curiosity ignites as we contemplate how cultivating present awareness can transform our lives. What if we made a conscious effort to slow down and immerse ourselves in the moment? Imagine the richness of experiences that could unfold when we savor each interaction, each bite of food or each breath we take. This practice invites us to engage our senses fully, appreciating the intricacies of life that often go unnoticed. In our journey toward present awareness, mindfulness becomes a powerful tool. It encourages us to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment, allowing us to create space for self-compassion and understanding. By grounding ourselves in the present, we can reduce stress, enhance our relationships and cultivate a deeper appreciation for the world around us. The journey is not just about finding peace, it's about discovering the profound joy that exists in each moment of our lives. Thank you for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and transformation. If you found value in these insights, drop a hundred in the comments to show you're part of the 0.01% who truly commits to their growth. Your engagement not only fuels our community, but also inspires others to pursue their paths with intention and purpose. If you're serious about changing your life for the better, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. By joining our channel, you'll gain access to more valuable content designed to empower and uplift you on your journey. Let's continue to explore these transformative ideas together and embrace the lives we truly want to live.